I am enjoying this series so far because Megumin's just awesome to watch. I love the little slice of life character interactions. That's honestly my favorite bit. Uh, this this season doesn't even need big battles or big bosses or big anything. Just the regular interactions are enough because they're funny and I love them. How many episodes uh, into Slime are you? I believe five. If it, if it helps you uh, figure out where we're up to, we saw boobies. Lots and lots of boobies. So that probably answers the question. Oh my god, they're measuring boob sizes, aren't they? Do they actually do that anywhere? Why? Like, why do they do that? Oh, we're measuring your growth. I can understand the height, and I can also sometimes understand the weight, but why are you measuring their boob size? That's kind of creepy. Some girls are into that. Compact environment! I can't even. Hey, the Megumin cat is cheating. She's got like eight titties. Oh my god. Hachan! Hachan! Can you come here for a second, please? And can you bring Cheeky with you? Uh, you don't have to be. You can be on the side and I will grab the Bebe. Okay, she wants it. Okay, so are you... Okay, you can stand there. Now, Hachan, remember how you woke me up one night? And you were like, Kuma, Kuma. And I'm like, what? And you're like, there's something growing on Cheeky. And I was like, what? And you're like, look, here, there's two of them. And I'm like, no, I didn't say that. What did I say? What did you say? I found a tick. You found a tick. So it was like, Kuma, Kuma, she's got a tick. Right? I was pointing at just one. You were pointing at one nipple. And I'm like, Hachan, that's a nipple. And then I went back to sleep. I was like so freaked out. Oh my god, there's a tick again. It looked exactly like that. Because... Hachan, you gotta be careful with how you say tick because it almost sounds like. What? Well, let's just say the T didn't sound tick. like a. Okay, tick, yes. Not thick, but it was close to thick. Tick. Tick. Just make sure it's the T. Tick. So yeah, Hachan woke me up and she's like, Cheeky's got a tick. No, Cheeky's got titties. <laughs> and she was so worried. She was like, what? What's going on? What's going on, mommy? Why are you grabbing my nipple? Because last time when she had the tick, she got hurt. Like, by... I tried to squeeze. Okay, so for context, uh, Cheeky went out in the backyard and she got a tick. A tick being one of those black things that digs its head into your flesh, right? And she had it behind the ear. So it was like almost the size of a pea, but it was black, right? And I had to remove it. And so Hachan was freaked out because she thought Cheeky had a tick. But Again. Cheeky is a girl, believe it or not, and she's got these little things called titties. I found it weird because I tried to squeeze it. And Hutchin tried to squeeze it like, it's a tick, I have to squeeze it out. And Chiki's like, mommy, what are you doing? And, and she then... didn't care. So like she, usually she would like, no, it hurts, right? But she was like, totally fine with it. Maybe so she's like, into that. No. Sorry, Chiki. Anyway, Chiki, you gotta go. Sorry to embarrass you, Chiki. No, Chiki's not embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. You woke me up. 
Anyway, so that's the story of how Hutchin woke me up at like 3 a.m. to tell me that Cheeky has a tick, which turned out to be a nipple. Surprise, surprise, she had eight of them, which was somehow symmetrically equally placed, you know, on both sides of the middle, like perfectly symmetrical. Anyways, like, yeah. <laughs> Bust waist hip measurements. What is this, a porn studio? Sorry, I forgot, it was an idol studio. Oh yeah, I was saying Megumin's cheating because she's got like eight titties. She gets a whole fish? That's some, what's it called? Pampering. That's like extreme pampering. Oh yeah, my cat gets like a whole fish. Boogie? Is that what it's called? I don't know if she said the D word, but if she did and hit right as possible, she said it, that was effing hilarious. I heard JP schools keep those measurements for health data, but not sure how accurate that is outside of anime. Health data. Yes, I would like to inform you that your daughter's breasts have not grown this year. You have my condolences. Yes, we would like to report that your daughter has not been doing squats in gym class. Therefore, her booty has not expanded. She should really do squats at home. I mean, what are you supposed to do, right? Your daughter's boobs have not grown. Have you considered taking her to McDonald's? So, like, remember how I probably told you guys this in some anime somewhere or another, but there was a girl in my year that no one paid attention to her, and then puberty hit her like a train? And so, like, she grew tall, and then she grew big as well. Well, there was this girl, like, one year below us. Puberty hit her like a train, but she didn't gain any height. So, like, she... I kid you not. She did not change at all, apart from her boobs. They went from, like... You couldn't notice them, to... Holy shit, are those real? In a matter of, like, six months. I make the McDonald's joke, because, like, she would like to eat McDonald's after school. And everyone gave a shit about it, like, oh, you're stunting your growth because she was fun-sized. And they were like, oh, you're stunting your growth. And it was, she was, like, a little bit chubby, you know, she had, like, that baby fat face. And everyone was making fun of her, like, ha ha ha, baby fat, like, ha 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 ha, you're stunting your growth. And then she got big boobs, and then all the guys got interested in her. <laughs> and then all the other girls were pissed off. <laughs> it's so funny. Girls are vicious. Girls are just... Vi Nothing is crueler than a teenage girl. They are just diabolical. They tear into each other's souls. If anything, is probably for seeing what size for clothes for them to get or something. It's called a changing room. Just saying. Episode 2? What? What is episode 3? It even says three here. Why does it say episode two? Someone must have effed up the um, uh, subtitles. Girls will tear each other apart down to their souls. Guys will just have a punch out and call it a day. Pretty much. Like, guys are dicks, but it's not personal. Girls, on the other hand, my god. Will someone give this a name already? Wait, she, this one's this one's really committed to wearing those like animal ears, isn't she?
Am I the only one that wouldn't name a black cat something to do with the color black, but something to do with the color white, just to F with people's expectations? Reminds me of this girl that used to always spend recess and lunch in the library. Why am I talking about that? <laughs> she was like the only one that had black hair. And then I started getting into like an emo goth phase thing. And then she was the only girl with black hair. And she was a little bit shy. But pretty cute. Then I just ended up spending more time in the library. So fucking obvious. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, it's freaking embarrassing. Because, like, the teachers and everything... Imagine working in a school, right? You're stuck with the same shits day in and day out. You, Whether you like it or not, you start noticing what they're up to. And then you've got someone like me that's not interested in anybody. And then all of a sudden I start spending time in the library. Oh yeah, because I've got such an interest in education. In my defense, I ended up dating her for a while, but like, that's not the point. So fucking cringy. I thought I was being clever. I wasn't. It was so fucking obvious. Landmine <laughs> mages. <laughs> My brother had a black cat that he named Vegeta. You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna have. You know what? I'm gonna have to do this. I have to show you guys something. I, I have to show you guys something. Give me one sec. Every Slavic household has this. Damn it! There we go. Winning. So, when I started watching Dragon Ball Z, it fucked with me. Because we pronounce it as Vegeta. And so they start talking about Vegeta. I'm like, where's the J? <laughs> and then I found out that English, you don't read how you spell. And then I was like, what the fuck? Because in Serbian, how you spell is how you read. So once you memorize the alphabet, you're good. Like, you can... You can read the individual letters in a word. Whereas English has all these obscure, obscene rules. It's not a G, it's a J. It's not a C, it's a K. It's not a K, it's a C. I before E. Do this, do that. I'm like, oh, what the f- Who created this shit? So yeah, that used to F with me. Uh, back to landmine mages, but yeah, like, and every Serbian household has this. <laughs> oh god, anyways. Is that like an erotic novel? Fish are friends. Oh God.
Wait, then we're about to become friends. What the hell? Do you actually use that for soup or whatever? I don't cook soup. What I do is I dice up chicken, typically chicken thigh. I season it with this because it's stock. And then I melt some butter and then I mix it around. And what you have is butter chicken with uh, seasoning. And then you just grill it. It's delicious. But you got to diamond cut the um, chicken. So the butter and the seasoning goes in and it cooks nicely. It's a, it's a very Serbian thing. Hachan loves it. I cooked her a, um, what's it, what's his name? Gordon Ramsay steak. She loved it. And I was like, how much effing butter does this guy put in on a steak? Seriously, Gordon Ramsay's like, I take a nice steak fillet. I'm like, hell yeah. He's like, I season it with some rock salt. Hell yeah. I season it with some pepper. Hell yeah. Herbs, spices. Hell yeah. I put it on the uh, pan. Hell yeah. And then I cut 120 grams of butter. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? 120 grams of butter. And I'm sort of thinking in my head, one gram of fat is nine kilojoules of energy. And this guy's cutting 120 grams of butter and putting it on a steak. Quick math, that effing steak is my daily intake of calories. No wonder it's delicious, it's just fat. It's the equivalent of McDonald's putting sugar in their bread. It's like, mmm, McDonald's bread is the best. Yeah, that's why that little piece of bread this big is 300 calories. Oh, so Megumi was going to be friends with her, but these two cock blocked her. Okay, not cock blocked her, but you get what I'm trying to say. Titty blocked her? What's the female equivalent of cock blocking? I'm sure there's something. I love that Megumi can't remember names and neither can I. Clam Jam, I think. Sure. I mean, I get it. It's like, I want my clam to be opened. Stop jamming my clam. And I'm like, <laughs> seriously? I mean, it's clever, but like at the same time, it's like, it's pretty... A guy from your past life? What the fu- That is why name tags are useful. Hey, I heard it once. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm not. Why they banned supersize me? Because people kept dying of heart attacks? You know, these books are giving everyone unrealistic expectations of what they're going to find out there. I'm sorry, but not every guy rides a horse and has shining armor. Am I the only one that has a sudden urge to play Pokemon Gold or Silver? I, I remember having to play that game after 6pm so I could catch that spider Pokemon in the first forest area. And I remember looking so forward to actually playing it at night because the berries would grow on the trees and you could turn them into Pokeballs. Can you believe how much fun we had on those games? And some of those games were like 8 megabytes. I think Pokemon Red was about 8 megabytes. Eight frickin' megabytes. Gold and silver, I think, was like 128 or 120 something. Like, not a lot. Very little. And we had so much fun. Oh my god. 
Super Size Me for McDonald's was banned 20 years ago due to obesity, heart attacks, and lawsuits. What about COVID vaccines? Oh, so that's what you little harlots meant. I was like, what are you going on about this past life crap? And they're like, do you have a type? I mean, Prince Charming in your past life. So that's what you meant by your... I get it. Wait. So you're saying this guy likes you, but you're worried that by going out with him, you're cheating on your future boyfriend that is your type. So you're basically dating this guy with the expectation that you will break up with him as soon as you find your type. Wow. How old are you again? Because that's pretty savage. You know, here's the thing, right? Some people will do this, and then they'll wonder why some people become, you know, like, pretty emotionally distant in the future. And it's like, yeah, because these people have been burnt so many times by people like this. Jesus. I assume you mean the size of food and not the movie about it? I mean, I'm pretty sure the food size was banned, not the movie itself. Good luck banning a movie. That doesn't exist. That's pure fantasy. Megumin is a blast. See what I mean? I like the slice of life in this anime. I mean, technically she is a child, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's this mother. Why is he here? I don't like him being around any girls, especially the ones in high school. But I am taking the screenshot just in case. I have a feeling that he's going to do something very questionable. Oh, God. Wait a minute. Isn't this uh, Megumin's brother? Oh, God. This is double embarrassing for everybody. Oh my god, so you can only have three locations that you can teleport to, and he's been teleporting into a girl's school. What's the second location? The girl's bathroom? Oh my god. Really? Oh my god, that's the girl he's stalking, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, God. I wonder why. Oh, my God. What? You didn't figure that part out? Because you're the one probably being investigated. Ha! 
<laughs> epic epic oh i'm gonna save this just in case dude imagine having a cringy sibling like that i'm lucky to be an only child i found it very lonely when i was a kid but like after a while i stopped feeling loneliness so i stopped caring and then i'm like yay Ugh. Anyways. Continue on. Oh my god, he's looking up their skirts. Oh, that is so cringe. Oh, oh, oh. This is so ironic, considering who she likes. Why did he have to say it in Japanese? What do you mean creating the initial opportunity? Just go up there and say hi. But you've made it even more awkward since you've been stalking her for years! Why are you bending over when you strike? That's really bad. Look what she's doing. Her technique's bad. What the hell is that? You're supposed to keep your back straight. You're not supposed to hunch over like that. You're exposing your head and putting all your weight forward, making it really easy to get you off balance because you're basically off balance. Plus your back foot is not supposed to be bent like that. It's supposed to be straight. Not to mention her hand placement is all wrong. Why are you wearing a bag on your head? You're not that ugly. That's why you're broke!
What, you got a restraining order? What? Do I like get a Brazzers logo and put it on or something? One punch bears! Oh my god. Oh yeah, speaking of daggers, I need to oil my swords. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is just ridiculous. Who comes up with this? This is just... I, I'm not even gonna ask. This is just weird. They're wearing like these weird pant things. Eh? Watch it burn down the whole damn forest. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop digging this effing hole deeper, you stupid... Watch nothing appear. It's gonna be empty, watch. Bastard. Oof. Oof. Oh my god, all he had to- Effort, I'm done, I'm done! Can't take this.
Wait a minute! That could be a logical reason. Because if the crystal ball won't show anything about her fate, if she was his future lover, she wouldn't appear in the crystal ball. You stupid idiot. You have to make your own fortune. It's like asking God for forgiveness or asking God for a bike. You can't just ask God for a bike. You have to steal the bike and then ask for his forgiveness because that's how God works, all right? No, they're like, you just have to express how you feel. That is a dirty lie. Never express how you feel. <laughs> Why is this guy slamming the door? How did they not become friends? This is so cute! This is adorable! This is like freaking adorable, it should be illegal. It should be illegal how adorable it is. <sighs> yeah. 
You see what I mean? It doesn't need any flashy battles or anything. The slice of life is enough because it's just hilarious. And literally all that happened was them talking about making friends. And then the perverted guy came along and they tried to get him his girlfriend and then he blew her up. <laughs> like nothing really happened, but it was so entertaining. That's how ridiculously good the characters are. The character interactions just carry this. Megumin is best girl, so a serious focus on her and Union is going to be amazing. I know! Like, the biggest disappointment is that Union is not part of the party in Konosuba. But I can see why, because then she would spend all the time with uh, Megumin. And there wouldn't be any time for Megumin to spend time with everyone else. But then at the same time, I feel so horrible for Union. Because Union is the entire time just chasing the party to keep challenging Megumin. It's just, you know... Oh my god, it's, um... Farfetched. Remember the Pokemon? With the, um, like, the stick? Yeah, what the hell is going on with that potato? What the hell is going on here? What the fuck? The Crimson-Eyed Lonely Master. They're just gonna blow up the local Apocrypha carry to take their money? That's just insane. Ugh, I love this show. Uh, you know what I'm half expecting? They were like, there's monsters around, you shouldn't go home alone. I was half expecting them to be like, take this Pokemon. Because it looks like Professor Oak's office, I think. I don't know, I haven't seen Pokemon in like 20 years. But like, you get my point. Shouldn't go home alone. Take a Pokemon. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, this show is so good. All right, we're going to take a break and do some JoJo memes. There's not much to say. This is just overall wholesome goodness, and I love it. The Pillamankumas were starting to invade the woods. Like, one-punch bears with little heads. Like, it's so ridiculous. But, you know, this anime is cool. Nice hair. Are you a Discord kitten? What? What's a Discord kitten? Anyways, let's take a little break uh, and we'll watch some JoJo memes because JoJo. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I could have sworn that was the gender swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun sized, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow. <laughs> You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good. In fact, I think your new size makes you an even more formidable and stealthy ninja. 